Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will try to convert fractions to decimals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. What we have here are four examples that we need to convert from fraction to decimals. By the way, what we are using or what we will be using here to convert fraction to decimals is that we will use a long division. I hope you're good with long division. Let's get started. In number one, we are asked to convert 3 over 4. How to do it using long division? We will divide 3 by 4, like this one, 3 divided by 4. 3 divided by 4 is cannot be or 0. Since this is 0, we will extend this one by 0. And don't forget the decimal point. Okay? And also put a decimal point here. Now, we have 30, 30 divided by 4, which is equal to 7. And 7 times 4, that is equal to 28. Subtract them, 30 minus 28 is 2. And as you can see, we still have number here, meaning we will extend this one and put another 0. And we will bring down 0. So what we have now is 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5 and 5 times 4 is equal to 20 and as you can see subtracting these numbers so it becomes 0 it simply means that we will stop dividing and the number or the decimal at the top of 4 divided by 3 or 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75 meaning the converted form of 3 fourths or 3 over 4 in decimal is 0 0.75 75. This one is an easy task if you know how to do the long division. Again, 3 fourths is equal to 0 0.75. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we have 2 over 5. We will use long division. We have to divide 2 by 5. 2 divided by 5 is cannot be our 0, meaning we will extend it by putting another 0. Now we have 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And 4 times 5 is 20. And as you can see, this one is a short division because 20 minus 20 is 0, meaning since the remainder is 0, we will stop dividing it. Your 2 over 5 is simply equal to 0 0.4. And that is the answer for item number 2. You can pause the video and try number 3. Again, you can pause the video and try number 3. And later on, you can verify whether your answer is correct. Okay. Let's start with number 3. We have 3 over 25. So what we have here is nine, sorry, 9 over 25. We will divide 9 by 25. So 9 divided by 25 is 0. And as you can see, we will extend this one by putting 0 here. So we can have 90. 90 divided by 5 is 3 because it has 3 25s. 3 times 25 is 75, and subtracting this, it will give us 10, 8, 10 minus 5 is 5, 8 minus 7 is 15. Then, we still have this remainder 15, meaning we will extend this one and put in 0 here. So you may bring down 0 here, it will become 150. So what we have now is 150 divided by 25, and the answer is 6. Okay, 6 times 25 is 150. And as you can see, subtracting this, it will give us the remainder of 0. Meaning, this decimal at the top of your long division is the correct answer. Your 9 over 25 is equal to 0 0.36 as 
our decimal. So we're done with number three, and I hope you're doing well with our examples. Now let's move on with item number four. What we have now is one over eight. So for one over eight, it will give you an idea that this one is quite difficult, but let's try. Let's divide one by eight. So one divided by eight. One divided by eight is zero. So we will extend this one and put zero here. So we can have now 10. 10 divided by 8 is definitely equal to 1. And multiplying them, 1 times 8 is 8. And we know when we subtract 10 by 8, that is equal to 2. So we're not yet done because we still have this, this remainder 2. Extend it by putting 0, bring down 0. And we have now 20. 20 divided by 8 is 2, because 2 times 8 is 16. Subtract them, it will become 4. 20 minus 16 is 4. We still have to extend it by putting 0 here. Bring down 0. I will adjust the paper. So what we have now is 40 divided by 8. That is equal to 5. 5 times 8 is 40. And as you can see, when we subtract this one, when we subtract this one, it will give us the answer of 0. Meaning, this decimal at the top is the converted form of 1 over 8 into decimal form. We have 0 0.125. That is the answer for number 4. So I hope guys you learned something from this video and as part of our routine, whenever we are doing tutorials, let me give you an exercise. Try these examples. And you can comment down below what is your answer in this kind of question. Number five, I will give you Three over ten. And lastly, for number six, I will give you the question of one half. Again, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!